had remember back in two in 1998 they came up with that provision where they would allow you to do a conversion from a traditional IRA to a Roth IRA. Now, it's some in- income limitations back then, which have been removed, but you could do that conversion and then you could pay the tax over a period. Of, was it five years initially when they did that the it was first time? Four years. Uh, and that went away. And if you were watching me then, which I know you were, I, I encouraged everybody to do it. I had I a lot of clients. Wish. I had a lot of clients who did it, all of it. It was, you know, everything that they had outside of a 401k, they converted it. And they, you know, those people lived in retirement with a whole bunch of tax-free income. And it's amazing to watch. I had one client back then who got laughed out of his job based on my advice. Of course, he got the last laugh. He was, he, both he and his wife were teachers and they were close to retirement and, and they had each in their, uh, in their, in their, I forget, a 403B or 401K, whatever they had, about 500000 each. And this guy came to see me and I said, you know what, take that deal. This was 98, the first year, and convert everything. And he says, I can't. I'm going to make over 100000 They had that limit. I said, do it. If you, all right, you can't, you can't. He came back the next year for his tax and says, I did it. I said, how'd you do it? He said, I, I believed in what you said so much. I took a six-month sabbatical so I would have my income go <laughs> below 100000 And all my teacher friends laughed at me. They say, you're going to give up all this income just so you can pay more tax? And you know what? Uh, this guy died recently with an $8 million tax-free Roth IRA. Amazing. And so did his wife. Amazing. $8 million, all tax-free. So people look uh, short-sighted. Yes, he paid some tax, but he got that four-year deal, which was nothing to him. So the, four, the uh, 500000 he had eventually grew over many years till about, and in his wife, he did the same investments in both of them, about $8 million bucks. It was unbelievable, all tax-free. So who got the last laugh now? He sure and did. And then, I couldn't do that then, but I could, in 2010 when they were removed the 100,000 income limit. And that's when you got the, the flood of Roth conversions, including mine, and I told everybody to do it then also, and they still gave you a great deal then. You remember the deal? If you convert in 2010, you didn't have to pay any tax in 2010. You paid half in 11 and half in 12. Right. I know, I know you were at my program right. then, and I said, everybody take that deal. So I took that deal, and uh, I encourage as many people as possible to take that deal. So look where we are now. Anybody who took that deal in 2010, all the growth from 2010 to now 2021, tax-free for the rest of your life. You didn't have to share it with Uncle Sam. So the point is, yes, you have to pay some tax up front, but don't be short-sighted. You get something for your money. You get tax freedom for the rest of your life. There are no required minimum distributions. If you need the money, you take it tax-free in retirement. If you don't, it just keeps growing and accumulating 100% for you. I love tax-free. And I tell you, in this polarized country we're in, uh, even though I'm not traveling now, but when I traveled around, I always brought people together because I found everybody loves tax-free. Everybody. That's the secret. Bring people together. Tax-free is always better. Starting your route to retirement.